find comfort in Jesus Christ. When situations occur that you're not expecting and you're overwhelmed, just draw strength from Jesus Christ. He gives strength to the faint. He gives strength to the weak. He will give you the strength that you need to endure the time that you have to go through. He will give you the strength that you need to complete the process that you must go through to get to where he's taking you. Find comfort in Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is in you. The Holy Spirit is the comforter. Draw from the Holy Spirit. Draw from your own sister. Draw from the Holy Spirit and find strength in Jesus Christ. Isaiah 40 verse 29 through 31 reads, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increased strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The times when you're going through the Lord will give you joy. He will give you just what you need to keep going on. That you will overcome. You will be an overcomer. You will not be weary. You will not fail. You will not fall out because he's given you the strength that you need to stand, the strength that you need to hold on, to persevere so that you can overcome and you can receive that which is at the end of the tunnel. Continue to trust in God. I share this part of this devotional with you. Also, it's talking about finding comfort in God. Everything that God allows to come our way is always with a purpose. As children of God, we should learn that pain is not only to be expected, but should be something we learn to grow from as we lean into God's strength. Sometimes, even the greatest error and deepest pain are used to mold us into a better person. Let's face it, so often we learn very valuable lessons from the mistakes we make and the suffering they bring. We may also come to grip with the fact that healing does not always have a magical or pretty look, but e real healing can be hard, exhausting, and draining. This is because we live in a broken, fallen world with broken, fallen people who do broken, fallen things. But as soon as we recognize that pain is a reality that we all live with, we should remember that God is there to rescue us from our pain and He is also there in the midst of our pain, helping us to walk through it. So remember that He's always there. He's right there. He's right there with us. He'll be with you in the flood. He will be with you in the fire, just like he was with the three Hebrew boys. When they, they told the king that whether or not Jesus, whether or not the Lord comes through for him, for them, they will not bow because they know who God is. So they know what they know and they will not bow to no other God but the true and living God. And just like Daniel, he, he came through for Daniel when Daniel was thrown into the lion den because Daniel refused to stop praying to the Lord is God. And the Lord was with Daniel. And just as he was with Daniel, the three Hebrew boys and many other people of old, he is with us today. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. Just continue to trust in him, come to what may, find comfort in him. Find comfort in him, for he allows whatever it is to happen to take you higher in him, for you to be closer drawn to him, for you to be elevated in him, for you to be promoted in him, for you to be renewed, for you to be strengthened, perfected, and established in him. So continue to trust in the Most High God, and whenever things don't work out the way you expect them to. Just lean on Jesus Christ. Stay blessed.